Okay. Um. <laughs> You're not used to that, are you? <laughs> not too, not too, not too close. Because okay. Back okay. No problem. Give her a little more room. <laughs> no problem. Give her a little room. There you go. Give her a little room. Give her a little room. Do you have a new TV? He, well, I, I know him. He's a good friend of mine. Go ahead. Okay. Um. What, what, what are you here tonight? Do you have a message for us today? I want, my message is that you don't need the government in order to be, to have a full life. The government is an Im impediment to people having full lives because the government is really a criminal organization. Why? They steal things. They, they, they break things, they hurt people, they kill people, and, and they're a criminal organization, and the smaller our government is, the better off we are going to be. So what do you believe in? What do I believe in? Well, that could take a few hours. But what values? I, I believe the value that you own your life, and if you don't own your, if you don't have own your life first, then you're a slave. And I, I, I oppose the idea of human slavery. But what the government has done is they've turned us into a bunch of cattle. And what do you think you should do against that? I think you should, my, my suggestion is that you ignore them as much as possible. Don't vote. Don't pay taxes. Have a job that you get paid in cash for. You know, do things that are going to uh, make it more difficult for them to operate. Because what it really boils down to, all they really want to do is steal from you. Are you ready to defend yourself in case of tyranny, for example? I defend myself every day against tyranny because our government is, at least my government, wants to want, it does everything in its power to live off the, the, the product of my labor. And I oppose that idea. What do you think about the Tea Party? The tea, tea Parties are largely a joke and they are co-opted uh, message where they want to control people's anger and focus it on the Republican ideas, like the Tea Party's a Republican. Well, the Tea Party is really nothing to do with Republican or Democrat. The Tea Party is the idea is that you don't need government, but what the organizers... As you, as you. Uh, I'm sorry? They so don't need government as you. It's the same belief. Yeah, you, the, the most important thing that the government does is to protect the, the rights of the individual. If they are not protecting the rights of the individual against theft and, and coercion, then they have no value. But the only thing that the government seems to be interested in is doing everything but protecting the rights of the individual. What do you think of Mr. Obama? I don't think of Mr. Obama. He's not my president. He is not. He does not fit the qualifications of being able to serve as president of the United States of America. He was, uh, whether or not he was born in Hawaii is irrelevant, but his father was a uh, Kenyan, uh, was from Kenya. At the time, Kenya was a, a colony of England, and England's law says anyone who was born of Englishman, which his father was, is also an Englishman. Therefore, he violates the, uh, the, the, the requirement to be a natural born citizen. This subject was, was, it's the first time in history it's ever been taken up, and the, the Supreme Court of the United States refused to hear the, the case on the ground that the person bringing it had no standing. It was ridiculous. Obama has has spent over million spent millions of dollars to hide all of his Columbia records from when he went to, when he went to Columbia University. He was in he was in uh, he was in Indonesia in order to go to school as an Indonesian. He would have had to have or his parents would have had to revoke his citizenship or, uh, as a United States citizen, or else he would not have been able to go to school. So all this stuff has been sealed. Has been his birth certificate's been sealed. His long form. Uh, uh, birth certificate has been sealed, and the Supreme Court, the first time this has ever come up, and they refuse to hear the argument, it's absurd. Can you explain for the French what, what is Oath Keepers? Oath Keepers is an organization that is dedicated to having first responders, people who are in the military, either retired or active personnel, uh, policemen, firemen, first responders, to honor their oath of office, their oath, they're sworn, because sworn, these people are, have all sworn an oath saying, it says right there. So they have all sworn a, uh, an oath. I don't have the oath memorized, but I, I will protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies. How? All enemies, foreign and domestic. For example, when Hurricane Katrina came to, it was in the New Orleans, police officers, federal agents were disarming 
peaceful citizens protecting their right to defend themselves, and they were forcibly disarming them. It's absurd. So you believe you have the right to defend yourself? You have to. If you don't defend yourself, no one else will. How would you defend yourself? Whatever needs is, but whatever means is necessary. What, I, I can't, you know, it's like no one can say what someone would do in a life or death situation because if they say they would, what they would do in a life or death situation, they're lying. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Mar Mar Margali. Margali and Gail. <laughs> very nice to meet you.